This is DITW Anatomy and Physiology, and you are watching the video on the parasympathetic nervous system. The parasympathetic nervous system is one half of the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system maintains a balance through two systems which work against each other, the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Both systems are constantly going back and forth in the amount of influence they have over the body, depending on what the body needs. When the body is not in a state of rest and is excited by some perceived external or internal threat, the sympathetic nervous system dominates in its influence over the body. But when the body is in a state of rest where there is no perceived threat or excitation, the parasympathetic nervous system is dominant in its influence. Let us now look at some of the effects the parasympathetic nervous system has on the entire body. When the body is at rest, the pupils will constrict to allow less light into the eyes. The eyes also do not need to be as focused since there is no perceived threat to watch out for. The muscles of the body are not guarded against a threat, so there is less contraction of the muscles. The tissue of the lungs also constrict to slow down airflow, since a state of rest uses less energy, which means less oxygen carbon dioxide exchange is necessary. Heart rate slows down since energy consumption is slower in a state of rest and there is no need to circulate blood faster. And during a period of rest with no perceived threat, it is the period in which digestion is ideal, so the body will provide greater blood flow to the stomach and intestines to aid digestion and absorption of nutrients. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want more information on other systems, please visit my YouTube page for other great anatomy and physiology videos. Before you leave, make sure to drop a like on this video by hitting the thumbs up button down below and share with friends who are also interested in anatomy and physiology. If you have any questions regarding anatomy and physiology, please leave them in the comment section below. And please subscribe and hit the bell button to know when new videos become available. Once again, thank you.